Nike was back at it yesterday with a Wednesday release of the Nike Adapt BB 2.0 Air Mag. I think this is the best Nike Adapt model and colorway that they have come out with. We of course saw this first Air Mag colorway pop up on the Nike Adapt BB 1.0 that came out previously. However, I think this colorway looks even better on this model and I was so glad to pick it up. Like I said, it did drop yesterday for a retail price of $350 and I did get it in this morning. So needed to get this video up as soon as possible. I was so excited to check these things out. So let me know if you have any comments or questions about this sneaker at all along the way. Leave those in the comments down below. Be sure to hit that subscribe button. I am here almost every single day sharing my new pickups and all sneaker related content with you guys here on YouTube. So I want to thank you guys for stopping by. But for now, let's jump into the shoe and check out the Nike Adapt BB 2.0 Air Mag starting with the quick facts. So here is what you need to know about the shoe. So it does come in at that retail price of $350. In terms of the sizing, it does fit a little bit small, so I do recommend going up a half size in this shoe. As always, I recommend trying on a pair if possible before you buy it, especially if you're buying it online. And then in terms of the styling and even the weight on this shoe, it's worthwhile to mention because it has all the technology inside of it. It is a little bit heavy, but it is literally a performance basketball sneaker that NBA players have worn. You know, you can certainly wear it on or off the court. And I'd say it's not quite as heavy as you'd expect. So you could wear it, you know, pretty well almost every single day. Um, in terms of the resale prices, like I mentioned, it did sell out yesterday for that retail price of 350 bucks. On the secondary market, it's trading for around 400 to 450 bucks. So let's get into the video. And here we go now with the sneakers. So first things first, we got to cover the extras that come inside the shoes with the box and, you know, all the extras here. So we'll take a look at the size tag first. We got Nike Adapt BB 2.0 in wolf gray and white, and that retail price is $350 on the shoe. So now let's take a look at the rest of the box and see what's inside. So this box has some really cool designs and is definitely a lot smaller than the original Adapt BB 1.0 box, but it's still a decent size. It flips open at the top. You have this little compartment here that includes the charger and the charging cord. You have some paper and then below the paper, you have the manual for the shoes as well as the charging pad. So I'll get this stuff opened up and show you that real quick. So as I mentioned, we have the charging pad, which is connected via a USB-C cord that does come included in the box in this portion right here. On the back of the charging pad, it does say it's actually the Nike Adapt Charger 1.0. So the same charger we've seen with a lot of the more recent Nike Adapt models. So I'm going to get the shoes on here real quick and show you guys what that looks like. So the cool thing about putting the shoes on the charger is that to alert you that the shoes are charging, the colors on the side actually start to pulse just to let you know that the shoes are actually charging, everything's plugged in. So it's a really cool setup. And then if you take the shoe off the charger, you can see the colors light up there. And then if we check out the shoe as you push the buttons, and if you listen to that, you can hear the shoe actually tightening and loosening. You can see the string right there. It got a little bit tighter so it's a really cool thing to see and then once you put it back on the charger you can hear that noise which loosen the sneaker back up so now let's start checking out the shoes up close and now to get it started here from the lateral side we can start checking out the shoe as you can see it's primarily just that wolf gray color and the midsole right here is where it gets really crazy you can see the different splatters of the kind of teal colors that come throughout the heel and the midsole. It's really cool. It's a really nice design. You see the giant Nike swoosh up in the middle. And then these little dots towards the front, which actually say zoom in front of them with each letter inside of there. On the bottom of the midsole and outsole, we can see version 2.0 Nike Adapt BB year 2020. That's always a nice touch too. So it really does resemble the Nike Air Mag. The only other thing is it does have this kind of brighter green little notch towards the front of the shoe um, which does connect at the lacing system but uh, that's the only subtle difference of a change in color on the sneaker if we take a look at the front at the very top of the toe that icy blue bottom sticks out right there you can see a little bit of the traction move up to the toe box we can see that gray going all the way up in the middle of the shoe here we can see power lacing system is what it says along the front here power lacing system in small letters we see the giant nike swoosh in white and then up on the tongue we have r and l to denote the right and left shoes and then you can see that lacing system all tied throughout so it does tighten and loosen as you put it on your shoe you can control this all through the app as well it's really a pretty cool thing to check out in person on to the medial side now, it is a little bit different than the lateral in terms of having this swoosh here, which is actually more of an outline, but the colors stay the same. The patterns and materials are all pretty much the same too. You can get a better look at the icy blue sole 
the midsole going all the way wrapping around to the back to the heel cup um, so a nice clean look here and of course you do have the nike hit right there on the side which connects the power lacing system then to the back heel, definitely one of the crazier parts on the shoe is this entire heel cup with that splatter design of that teal color kind of sprinkled throughout on the back heel tab. So this is kind of a plastic material, a little bit flexible, but it does stick out a little bit further than the heel. Although when you do wear it on foot, it doesn't really seem to get in the way, but it looks a little big when you take a look at it just on its own from the back, but a really cool design that connects everything together. Next up, we can take a look inside the shoes, get them loosened up, and see what's going on inside there. I've turned on the flash to get a better look, but the first thing to mention is that it does come with these plastic shoe trees, one in each shoe, each branded with the Nike swoosh on the top. And then if we move inside the sneakers behind the tongue, we can see the rest of this tongue tab right here. It says the same thing as the midsole where it said version 2.0 Nike Adapt BB year 2020. A really cool touch. I like to see that. Nothing else behind the tongue, but then you have a crazy inner insole where you have R and L again printed there. And then in sort of a rainbow color, we have Adapt written out and a larger Nike swoosh in the midfoot. And then inside the shoes, we actually have two different tags. So we have this one on the left side, once we get it to focus. Not actually sure what that is, but it comes on the other Adapt models as well. And then on the opposite side is where we have the actual size tag for the shoe. So if we get this to focus here, we can check out the numbers and information on the sneaker. And lastly here, we can take a look at the outsole, which is really crazy here. You can really see how bright that icy blue color is for the outsole. And then up towards the toe, we have this crazy kind of multicolor design, which goes in a circle motion there to round out the top of the toe. And finally now, since we have wrapped up, taking an up-close look at the shoe, it's time to get these laced up, and I'll show you guys what they look like on feet. So after taking a look at the Nike Adapt BB 2.0 Air Mag on feet, what else is there to know about the shoe? Well, I don't think there's too much. We've really covered everything in this video. We've covered so much about the shoe. Hopefully you guys get the full look at what is going on with the sneaker, but I think it does look really, really nice. The only other things I do want to mention are the weight, which I did speak about earlier, but it's still got a little bit of weight to it. It really is a crazy shoe at the end of the day because it has the technology that it does it can self lace it does light up it works via a charger you know it's it's so nuts to see all of this packed into one thing so i wouldn't call it super heavy but it's not like it's a light shoe either so it's something to keep in mind if weight is a concern for you the sizing like i mentioned earlier i would recommend going up that half size for a little bit more room in the shoe because it is a little bit snug um, but the colorway looks really good. And in terms of the on feet, I think it does look good as well. It just really does look more like a performance basketball shoe than anything else. I think the wearability is a little tough, even considering how good the colorway is. So all things to keep in mind, but in my book, it's still a really, really nice shoe. So if you guys have any other questions or feedback, let me know in the comments down below. I can help you guys get those answered. But we have pretty much covered everything on the Adapt BB 2.0 Air Mag. So it's time for my final rating and opinion on a scale out of 10. And for that, I'm going to give it an 8.5 out of 10. I feel like it's really good. 
given the price point and everything else, you know, it's it's certainly not the perfect shoe. It's not a, a necessity for everybody. It's a, a very cool shoe if you're into it, which I definitely am. I really like it. I like the tech and the colorway. Speaking on the resale side of things, you know, it did cost 350 bucks, which is definitely an expensive shoe at retail. It is going for a bit more than that on the resale market. So like I mentioned, I don't think this is a shoe you have to jump out and go and buy right now. I'm not really sure what prices may do, but it seems like the Adapt technology overall is kind of coming down in price. They started with some of the original Adapt models that released were like 750 bucks retail. So it's coming down. So I wouldn't jump out and buy it if it's not a shoe you really want or need right now. But it's definitely a cool shoe. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below, but I really appreciate you guys stopping by and checking out the video. Thank you all for stopping by. Be sure to hit that subscribe button as well to keep it locked to the channel. And I'll keep catch you guys again real soon on the next video.